Hi guys, what's up? I'm Dinesh. Welcome you all to our uh, online lecture. From today onwards, I'm going to start a different program which is based on the problem solving ability uh, to improve or to help students in solving problem. And we will discuss here the previous year problem of uh, the top entrance examinations held in India like uh, IIT exam, JST, IFR and obviously uh, of net and get examinations from today onwards i will uh, deliver every day one to two lecture which based only on problems so if you want to see the lecture every day then please like share uh, and uh, subscribe the channel which will help you to get uh, the update of the video uploading okay so from today uh, today we are going to start a problem of iit exam this was the problem of IIT exam physics which uh, was I think in the year 2007. So just look at the problem. This given uh, products, product of matrix, 3 matrix is given. First matrix is of the order obviously 1 cross 2 because it has 2 column and single row and the second matrix is of order 2 cross 2 and the third matrix <coughs> is of order 2 cross 1 it has two row and a single column okay the question was the matrix equation of the above represents a circle of radius root under 15 this is first option and option v is an ellipse of semi major axis root 5 and option c is an ellipse of semi major axis 5 and option d is a, it represents a hyperbola so what you have to do first you must have to remain uh, you must have to know the equation general equation of circle ellipse and hyperbola so i think you know but i want to remain you i want to remind you again the equation general equation of a circle is x square plus y square equals to r square where r is radius and for ellipse the general equation is x square by a square plus y square by b square equals to 1 where a and v are semi major and semi minor axis respectively and for hyperbola the general equation is x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to 1 so first you must know about the general equations so that you can reduce this equation in the general form of any of these three okay so let's start solving these problems the matrix is x y 5 minus 7 and 7 3 and next is x y equals to 15 so from the rule of multiplication the you have to multiply this 1 cross 2 matrix with this 2 cross 2 matrix first then you multiply the result the resultant matrix with the third matrix which is of order 2 cross 1 so if you multiply this i have already done lecture on the multiplication of matrix you can see so from multiplication you will get this as the resultant matrix will be of order obviously its row and its column so obviously of order 1 cross 2 and the matrix can be written as 5x plus 7y and the second element is minus 7x plus 3y then the third matrix is xy equals to 15 so then you have to product these two matrix again this matrix is of order 1 cross 2 and this matrix is of order 2 cross 1 the column of first matrix must be equal to the row of second matrix which is the rule of matri matrix multiplication so if we multiply this you will get of our matrix resultant matrix of order 1 cross 1 which is equals to 5x square plus 7xy then minus 7xy plus 3y square just simple mat mat matrix multiplication okay is equal to 15 so plus 7xy minus 7xy get cancelled the remaining part is 5x square plus 3y square equals to 
15 just to get a form of an ellipse you have to divide the these 15 all over the equation you will get 5x square divided by 15 plus 3y square divided by 15 equals to 1 this will written as 5 sorry x square divided by 3 plus y square divided by 5 is equal to 1 which you can again write of the form x square by root 3 square plus y square by root 5 square equals to 1 which is an well-known equations and is all obviously a equation of an ellipse okay so choose the option now the options are a circle so this option is not correct an ellipse of semi major axis 5 so you have to check here semi major axis so here you can see semi major axis is always greater than the semi minor axis so here obviously root 5 is your semi major axis axis length you can say so your semi major axis must be equals to root 5 so the option b is correct an ellipse of semi major axis root 5 obviously it's not a hyperbola obviously this answer this option is also incorrect so i think uh, you understand uh, better so if this video is helpful for you then please share the video with your friends and subscribe never forget to subscribe to the channel thank you thank you so much